Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Parkasaurus, uh, which might look a little bit different. I'll explain that in just a moment. First of all, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please let me know by clicking on the like button. If you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. So, uh, we were playing on a relatively open platform, um, but to be honest with you, uh, I, was, I wasn't really f enjoying myself too much because of how much of the stuff was gated by the research, which is fine, you know, if you want to work yourself through and play it as a game, but, uh, you know, geekism here, we're all really about the sandbox mode and about the creativity and stuff like that, and it was me playing uh, Tropico this week that launched into beta that really made me realise that, you know what, I really enjoy just playing sandbox and just trying to make the best looking thing, that's what I get, that's what I enjoy getting out of games, so I've come back and started again, there are lots of people out there playing through the scenarios and things like that, if you want to go and check all of that out um you know people like uh, avak and uh enter Elysium, i think maybe he's playing this actually i'm not sure actually but they're, they're the two i go to because i do enjoy watching the scenarios and stuff uh, just not really playing them myself so <laughs> uh, but they're the not two i normally go to so what i thought instead i would do is really try uh, my hardest to make the best looking park i could and you'll notice that money doesn't go down we've got everything researched this is all about just kind of making it look as cool as we can playing around with all the lighting options it was the lighting that really did it for me as as soon as i saw all of those lighting options um you know those string lights you can draw across i was like oh this is it we need to we need to just do sandbox in this we really do need to do sandbox in this um so that's what we're going to be doing we're not going to be worried about money uh we are obviously going to be looking at dinos and making sure they're happy i want the dinosaurs to be happy um, but other than that it's going to be all about just making the place look as cool as we can by doing things like uh like this here by making some cool patterns using the uh, the floor that we can do here and really you just you wouldn't really be able to do this especially early on in a in a level because uh, because it just costs too much really to do this sort of stuff but we can do it here and make something that i'm really quite happy with um let's just cut those down to two i think like so so there's our entrance let's see if we've got any buildings that will work as like an entrance uh plaza not any buildings but decorations you know little uh domes or so there's you, you're a bit too big. Um, let's see what else we've got. T-Rex fountain, oh that's cool isn't it? Uh, we've got these archways. I was hoping for like uh, like that, but maybe not quite as big as that. Um, oh, I like the little bridge. Oh, ho, ho, we're going to have so much fun doing all this sort of stuff. Um, they're pretty good, but maybe again a bit too big. There are these things that we did actually unlock in the last episode. I think maybe they're the ones to go for. Um... Shade tier one, that's all a bit smashed up. Uh, what are you? A clock block? A what? A clock block? <laughs> um, and a clock tower as well. Well, there's some really great looking stuff. And a playground look. Oh, yeah. See, we wouldn't have had all of this cool stuff to play with. Um, so, yeah, I think this is this is probably a good way to go. Photo boost Stegosaurus. Oh, they're cool as well. Archways, I think. One thing I will say about this is it's all a little big. Everything's a little crazy large. So... Hopefully that's um, something that they, they, they take away from this is that, I mean, look at the size of that thing. It's ridiculous. Uh, it looks good, though. Fancy car. Oh, that's the, there you go. There's the one. Wow. We'll place that down in just a minute. But first of all, I really wanted to, oh, there's a food court entrance. That's good. Really wanted like, um, I guess that's not too bad, actually. One. Yeah, they're quite cool, actually. We'll go to... Um, can we... Ah, oh, that's really annoying. Um, <laughs> let's let's move you. We can move, can't you? Yeah, there we go. We have, the problem is we have to move it out and then back in again. Let's go there. Let's move you out and back in again. And we'll fix the path. In. There we go. And now, hopefully... Oh, they're really nice, yeah. I know this is meant to be the ticket area, but I kind of wanted to do my own ticket area. Um, we Now, do we have a center point? I guess it's there, isn't it? Four and four. Yeah, so we can do three of those. Yeah, that's good. All right, cool. Let's go back to pathing then. 
fill in these little bits of path. Can we? Oh, we can change the size of those. Oh, that's good. See, here's me thinking I have it, I'm having to constantly delete stuff. Although to be fair, this is we are going to carry on up this way anyway, aren't we? So let's do that. Um, they're three by three, so that's going to be our main path up. But we'll be able to do something like this. I'm thinking to kind of connect all these together. Yeah, I've got it. Okay, let's. Well, that's fine. Let's do that. Let's do that and that. There we go. It's hard to see in night. I hope it comes to daytime soon. Let's speed it up a little bit so it does. Um, because I can't see anything. Is there a way to skip through when the park's closed? Because normally it comes up saying, oh, it's night time, skip through to daytime. Night time, do time, night time. There we go. That's going to be our path up. How does that look? That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so you've come in, you've got your tickets. All right, now where's that awesome uh, archway with the d dinos on? Oh, yeah, look at it. And it's the right size as well. Oh, my God, it's like this stuff happens not by accident. There we go, end day now. Yeah, 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 next day. Good, come on. <laughs> I'd like to be able to turn the day-night cycle off, please, devs, if you're watching. <laughs> um, there we go, we can actually see stuff a little better now, can't we? Oh, there's a smaller one with stone, but no, where's that big one? Yes. Right, let's get you in. Oh, that is just fantastic. I'm in love. I am in love. Um... I would like some planting, uh, how do we rotate stuff, it's R isn't it, there we go, here, here, um, here, 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 and here, there we go, uh, box laurels, there we go, kind of seem a little funky with them. Are the tulips nicer? Tulips might be nicer, actually, with... Oh, yeah, tulips could be a bit more going on for them, haven't they? Okay, sorry, but we are actually going to have to... No, I don't want it. See, one of the, prob one of the uh, slight problems with an isometric view is sometimes you just can't get to where you want to get to. I want Because I want to get rid of these, actually. Which I'm not sure I can select. There I can, there we go. Let's do it that way instead. Delete, yes. And actually I'm going to move you forward one. Well, I need to place you somewhere else first of all. But I'm going to move you forward one. So we're going to have a corner. One, two, three. A, a space. One, two, three. You. There we go. Now we should be able to place those uh, tulips in. Nicely, there we go. Oh, box flowers. What do they look like? Yeah, they're colourful. There we go. We just want something with a bit of colour, don't we? There we go. And a space for you and you. There we go. There we go. And you and you. There we go. And then in the gaps, we'll add some of these box laurels. Oops. Ew, that's gross. There we go. Let's tie together. That needs to happen with both of these as well, doesn't it? There we go. Let's get rid of them. Uh, and try that again. Moving them. There we go. I th just assumed they were square, but they're not, are they, quite? They stick out a little. Um... Yeah, I feel like they should be the other way around. That's peculiar. Let's try it once more. Let's see if we can just get it right. Oops, that one. Yeah, there we go. They're not quite square, are they? But that way they fit. And yeah, the other ones are fine. Okay, good. Well, that looks nice. I'm happy with that now. Um, all right, cool. So... While it's night time, let's make the most of it and add some of uh, our lights in. So we've got, let's have a look at the street lights options. We've got you, we've got you, we've got you, we've got you. Oh, that's like a flaming torch. And then we've got our string lights. Okay, so I think, I think I like this one actually. Um, 
Uh, okay, that was the end of the day. So we we haven't got night time anymore. <laughs> um, and it completely clicks off what we're on as well. That's, it'd be nice if that didn't uh, maybe take over from the screen so much. Yeah, I think that's probably the nicer light, actually. If you've got the right spot for it. I mean, these will look good down the middle, which we'll probably do. But for the edges, I'm actually thinking these are the way to go. Um... Okay, let's go. Let's go there and there. And the same on that side. There. And let's try and join some of these up. Now these are fun, alright, to try to, to try and do. There we go. We I messed up quite a bit in the last um video trying to do these actually but I hope I can really do them do them right this time what you have to do is every now and again rotate and check from all angles because I, I got some that were way off like not even close to where they wanted to be can we get well I'd like to stick it up here <laughs> um, I'm not too sure we're going to be able to do that so we might have to just drop it there for now. But we'll do the same on this side. So we went from yet yeah, from there to there. Okay. And then from there to there. And then from there to there. Okay. And then we obviously want them to go back to these middle ones as well. So we've got a nice little loop. Can we take them to these flags? I guess not. No. Okay. So that's where they go. And then anything on the entr entrance here, I think the only thing I'd like maybe is that if there's got like a couple of little... See, that's pretty good. It's massive. Um, and obviously these signs are all a bit too big, I think. Unless we had one. We could have one like over here. Just like a little metal one. Uh, that's just too big. But that could probably work there. Yeah. You know, go with that little sign as you come in, then through the tickets, and then, oh, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Um, I feel like we could try and relight this sign up a bit. And now I just realised they don't actually give off any light, really. Let's move that one. There we go. Okay, because now at least we can do that. And I'm hoping up to here. Yeah, that'll do. And then on this side. And here to here. Like, I'm kind of obsessed with these string lights. They're, <laughs> they're a bit too good. <laughs> They are genuinely the best thing in the game for me so far. And I think it doesn't sum up what geekism is all about. I don't, I don't know what will. <laughs> because it's kind of ridiculous how good how good I think they are. Um, Alright, so we want a couple of like info signs that we can use. Almost like um, like their ticket... You know, like uh, price ticket prices area, things like that. So let's have a look. Um, sign 1, sign B, sign C or sign D. I kind of like the look of sign D. What we we'll probably do is we can do two and two so if we do that there and then that there that's kind of like here's your prices come and get them i know it's they've got dinosaur faces on them but what are you going to do are they maybe a bit more are all of them the same pretty much um oh it's just the just the frame of them isn't it pretty much apart from that bit of bit of difference there um so yeah kind of uh, nope nope yeah Oh, we have got a free cam, haven't we? Actually, yes. Sorry, we. I've just. Re I've just remembered. It's really super, super uh, sensitive. But sometimes that'll actually come quite in handy. To be honest, let's go back to normal though. <laughs> uh, okay, so there is our entrance plaza. All right, so you're coming in. Uh, you ain't going to see pretty much anything. All right, that's that's it. You're going to come in. You're going to see it. Now, what I would like to do probably is have a fence around this. Enter there. Just 
just kind of, you know, I don't think guests wander off paths at the moment, but there we go. And then we'll fill in these gaps with some more plants. Uh, box daffod. Oh, yeah, these are good. Nice and big and juicy. That's good. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Um, they won't fit there. Uh, what have we got that will fit in that little gap? Bit of hedge corner or should we just leave it? Oh, I bet we could put a trash can there and there actually would probably make would make good sense. So let's try that again. One, two, three. And facilities, there we go. No. Benches, picnic tables, outhouses, employee restaurant, gazebo. I bet the gazebo would have been good. I know it's a bit too big. Bathroom. Garbage bin. Yeah, but where's the other garbage bin? Oh, look. Oh, look, there's loads of cool stuff here that we missed. Oh, this is the food. Okay, yeah, we're going to get to them. But that would have been that would have been quite nice as what we wanted here, to be honest. Um, I might just have that as a, as a gate as you get further up. It's pretty cool looking. Where's the trash cans? Is that it? The most advanced composter on the planet. I thought there was other ones available. I guess... I guess not. I could have sworn there was a there was a small one. It was like a regular. Hmm. All right. I guess not. We'll leave those areas blank then for now. I guess. Not ideal, but it'll do. It'll do, pig. It'll do. All right. That's good. Now we can move up here, and we're gonna start getting towards our first. Um, first a dino but we probably won't be doing it in this episode and that's again the exact sort of thing you can expect uh let's go down so one carry this path on up we're not gonna go we're not gonna be doing this path everywhere this is just like the entrance path you know yeah it would be far too tedious to do this everywhere i think but i do think it looks pretty good we'll probably go to there now what i would like to do is turn that off somehow but because i can't We'll wait, and there we go. We've net. Whoa, 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 whoa! Did it not do that path that we were just doing? Oh man, let's just. Oh, we're on speedy here. Let's just slow that down. Oh god, I bet you've all been screaming at me. I want to come to about there, I think. All right, and then that, and then that. Um. What I would like to do, they, they shared a screenshot the other day, the developers of this, with a really nice circular uh, area here that then branched off into different areas. And I thought it looked great. And I think I'm going to try and replicate that a little bit if I can. So I'm trying to think of how to do it because I'm not really that great at drawing circles just off the top of my head. Um, so it might end up looking a bit funky. But what I'm thinking is it kind of goes like this. Um, and then we miss two and do two and then we have one and one I'm trying to remember back to my uh, brief time in Minecraft where you would where you would have to sort of do this sort of thing to make circles and then one and uh, one that looks like nothing on earth, does it? Is it? <laughs> um, right. Let me see. Um, yeah. Let's let's get rid of all that. It looks awful. <laughs> Whoever it was who did it has got far too much patience, because it ain't the sort of thing I've got time to do. Um, but we could do still still do something that looks pretty good, I think. And we can go to there, to there. All right, and let's let's try it this way, and then we'll fill in areas as we need to. So one, two. No, it would go. No, it's that way, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's that's more like it. Okay, hold on. Let's get rid of a bit of path there. Okay, two, two. So one, two, and then there's enough for a one there yeah and then one two one two one one 
One, two, one, two, one. Yeah, there we go. So we need to get rid of the three in the middle there. And that gives us a bit. There we go. Okay, so that gives us a circle. Now, obviously, we need to flesh that out a bit so it actually makes a proper path. So we'll come to there, to there, to there, there. That's that done. And then all of these need like little fours, don't they? Really? To make them look good? I think. Or do they need three like that? No, they need three like that, don't they? That's much better. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to delete as I go just to keep on top of this, all right? Okay, good. That's a path. That's a one. And then I guess the same on the other side? That's just going to make a diagonal, isn't it? But I guess that's, that's what it is, I suppose, when it's grid based there we go welcome to Johnty Makes Shapes here on Geekism there we go I hope I hope you guys appreciate the fact that, I, that I'm playing this sort of z do you know what it, that's fine it looks like nothing on earth but it's fine um, so in the middle I kind of like the idea of having a bit of a, a picnic area, or maybe like, yeah, like a statue or something. Let's have a look. They, they had statues, didn't they? What were these big round things? Oh, it's a sewer cover. Oh, nice. Bit of detail. I like it. Velociraptor Therentine. Oh, what are we going to put in? Stonehenge, randomly. Um, all right. So the options are Velociraptor Therentine, or what was the other one? There was another one, wasn't there? There's a T-Rex fountain, and then there's those, I mean, oh, there's a Triceratops fountain. They're all very similar, actually. I mean, we've got to go for the trike, haven't we? It's my favourite dino. There we go. Look at that. Um, and I want picnic benches. Where are they? So, these, I think have to be um I have to be attached to the path to work I, I'm not too sure about that though but I feel that if we place a few down it just looks good you know trees um ain't, no we want some bushes but I want to keep them pretty no we don't we want trees don't we apple tree um Oh, do we want trees? No, this would be grass, wouldn't it? No, that would stay as grass. But I tell you where we do want trees, like along here, and I think we're going to go for furs. Um, there we go. I want it. We're going to have to do this thing. I can't. There was a, definitely another game where I had to do this, which was every and again it would give you a really crap tree, and you would have to like place it and then get rid of it afterwards. Like that, boop, no, 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 that was a good one, there we go, big one, uh, oh, uh, oh, these don't match up, have I put too much stuff down, then? huh, what have I done there, that only hangs over one there, well on that side it hangs over, Multiple. Oh yeah, we're a bit off on this side, aren't we? Oh well. I ain't got the time or inclination to fix that right now. Okay, no, we do actually want a few small ones. As oh no, they're really small. Look. Wow. Okay. Well, let's use these then. No, let's let's. <laughs> that is not the same tree I picked up. <laughs> right. We'll just keep putting them down. Now, now I actually want small ones. There we go, to kind of fill in some gaps. I hope they don't change every time we load. That would be quite infuriating if they did. Okay. Alright, that looks pretty good. And we'll obviously fill that out as we go. 
Uh, awesome. Okay, let's just tidy ourselves up a little bit here with you, 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 and then all of you. Gone. Boom. End the day. So we can have a look at it in the daytime. Next day. There we go. Uh, there's been an update since I last started playing, which is pretty cool. If you zoom... Uh, no, not if you zoom in. That's a mega aquarium. If you go to here... You know, get a, a full first-person mode where you actually you can yourself wandering around. If you want to, you can just have number one and have a little lucky, a lucky loo, which is pretty cool. Uh, but if you press two, you can now trank the dinosaurs yourself, like that. So if you've got if you've got dinos, which we will have, I promise, uh, you can now come in and tranquilize them yourself, which I imagine is not only fun, it's going to be pretty easy to do uh, compared to the game because the game takes a while to do it, to be honest. There we go. We are going to start branching off to building some animals. I promise building some animals. And one thing that somebody really uh, greatly pointed out was don't have the fences go all the way like this up to the um, up to the, the thing instead. Uh, if you have them like... Um, if you have them like... Uh, ple oh, plexiglass. Let's have a look at that. Is that like a see-through one? Because that doesn't look see-through to me. But the game says it is. Uh, if you have them sort of that distance away, so like two away, like this, all right, and do this kind of thing instead. And rather than having the whole path be able to see them, you have these like viewing platforms that sort of pop in, okay? And then on those viewing platforms, you have your donation boxes. And that's how you do it, so that they, so the privacy stays up. And I think that's a great idea. So that's probably what we'll look at doing in the next episode. Um, having one or two dino either side there but i think to start excuse me to start off with i think we've made a pretty good start there thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have you can give us a like it really does help at the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe any thoughts queries or suggestions you can pop them down in the comments fancy chat you can find me on twitter i'm at john t sparrow if you'd like to join in with the geekism community you can do so over on our uh, geekism discord server you'll find the link for that in the description and let's say a big thank you to all of our Patreons uh, over at patreon.com slash geekism for supporting the channel. You can find out more information on that there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.